Welcome back to PokerNews.com. I am here with a familiar face we haven't seen recently, Vanessa Selps. Now hey. you've, hey, you've retired and you've said you're going to play select tournaments. What makes you come out this weekend to WSOP? Um, honestly, I was, you know, planning only to come out for the main event. Uh, but, like, I still have a trip planned for then, but I was sweating all the updates and having a little bit of FOMO, as is quite predictable. So I just decided to make a quick trip for some of these really fun mixed tournaments. There's the 10K Triple Draw, the 10K PLO, and some other tournaments. And so I just thought I'd get in there a little bit early before before throwing right, myself into the main. Did you, uh, was there a particular update in particular? Or someone you saw go deep, you're like, ah, oh, damn, I could have totally taken that down. <laughs> It's just a general sense. I mean, a lot of my friends have been like doing really well, winning like not just here, but the Super High Roller Bowl and just like everything. So it's it's somewhat of that, and then somewhat honestly, I was been watching Poker Go. The production's been incredible, and so it's getting you know it's getting my like poker juices going. So it's just uh, just wanted to get out here. Do you feel rusty at all? Because it's been a while. Um, I don't know yet. I I mean, I definitely am rusty at triple draw. No, I'm not actually rusty at triple draw. Triple draw is like very, it's like easier. It's like pretty like. Basic, you know, it's it's pretty much like it, it's kind of obvious what to do in most spots, and so um, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping to play a little bit of no limit because I'm guessing there will probably be a little bit of rust, and I'm trying to get it off before the main. But it wasn't too long ago that I was playing, so hopefully I still have somewhat of a, a decent idea of how, how it works. Like six or five months ago was the last time we saw. I was in Florida. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know Florida, and then before that was honestly the main last year. So. So uh, it's been about a year since I've really played more than like one tournament, yeah. Well, tell me about what it's like having a real job working at a hedge fund now. Yeah, I'm working at uh, Bridgewater Associates as a hedge fund up in Connecticut. It's great, honestly. It's like a, it's a very like interesting place. Um, very like academic and intellectual and um, just learning so much. Like I don't, I didn't know anything about finance going in, but the first year there's like a you're in a class and you're like taking like literally like courses and and so honestly I've come a long way and I, I find it really cool and it's so similar to poker. I mean like basically you're just trying to gamble on plus EV outcomes and it's just like a lot more variables because like we're macro fund so we basically are trying to look at all the countries' economies and see news events and figure out how stuff is going to go. So I love following the news and so the fact that I can merge like betting and gambling with like following the news is like really cool. It's probably hard when you see something that's maybe upsetting you in the news and then you're like, well, I can totally yeah. have an edge here <laughs> on this bad situation. Yeah, right. Well, it's cool because we don't actually like really gamble that much on politics. So because like that's not our specialty. So actually, it's been like interesting because I think if I weren't at the hedge fund, the news that I follow would be a lot more depressing. But instead, I follow the economy, which has been really strong. And so I'm kind of like Trump, like what? I don't even know what stupid thing he did this week. Like, I just know like somehow uh, bonds are, you know, still doing whatever. What, you know, the stocks are still good, even though somehow we're on the brink of a trade war. I don't really understand how that works, but okay, you know. So it's it's uh, it's interesting. It's like definitely been a diverse set of things that I've been you know learning about. Well, when you figure out how uh, this brink of the trade war keeps our economy up, let me know because I'm never going to figure yeah, that out. I I trust me. That's one that's one that has not been solved yet. All right, last question. When you announced your retirement, you got a little bit of like sass from some people in the poker community because yeah. you did play. What? How did you take that? And what was your reaction yeah. to all that? Oh, honestly, I understand it because like a lot of people have been saying they retire, but and like just like playing all the tournaments anyway. And like honestly, I was playing when I was playing full time in the last few years. I was playing very infrequently, and so I was probably playing less than the people that currently are retired or actually playing. So I understand, but at the same time, it was a little annoying because like when I showed up in Florida, everyone's like, "You retired? What are you doing here?" I'm like, "Bitch, I work like 70 hours a week right now. Like, don't." get on me. I'm trying to just play one poker tournament. Like, just let me have fun. You know, I'm, I'm over here. I'm just gambling it up like recreational poker player. So I don't mind. I get it. But uh, but it is, you know, it is. I'm in a different world now and I'm working hard at that. So it's fun to just get to come here and kind of this doesn't feel like work anymore. It feels like just taking a really relaxing break. So that's great. You don't have to come here to pay your bills. Exactly. I don't have to come here to pay my bills. Can just gamble it up in a 10K, maybe be actually negative EV. Who knows? Who cares? It's fun. Like, We're going to find out. I guess, well, I don't know if I, I'd have to play like 10,000 of these to find out, but maybe we'll have some inclination. Just bank the first one, yeah. it's fine. All right, sounds good. <laughs> All right, thanks for chatting with me and yeah, good luck. Absolutely, thank yeah. you.